What are you saying? Prepare for your match, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to make a statement. It's nice. It's nice, it's nice. Yeah. expect some big, big talk that is. Yeah. Everyone, everyone knows the rest of it. But it's nice. Everyone's going to know you. Okay. Yeah, remember the name! Remember the name! Rise out! You've been told, it's the one dumb. I think I, should, I think I should be the one then really. Why? I think I, should, I think I should be the original one then. No, that's that's just that's two then. But I should be the original one then. <laughs> There's only one of me. Push off the stage. <laughs> In fact, just you be two then. You be three then. Freedom. Yo, you know what to say about freedom, anyway. Uh, what you say? That's a give me cry then. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, if you want you freedom, it. freedom. I love it, but you can't play because these are black people. That's why people got there. Freedom, black people want to destroy the world. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's getting political. Granddad, yeah, trust me. Okay. Don't let me get political. The I'm, I'm, they might have to call my granddad to pick for these rice. <laughs> Tell you now, I don't pick corn. I don't eat it either. I'm against that shit. My like Muslims and bacon. All right. Peace family, what's good, what's good, we're back with it, DOA TBM, it's your host Fonzie Neutron and we powered on back the online as usual, um, yeah where to kick off with this but I just wanted to speak a little on, on where we're at today in the current times, um, October we're in the middle of the UK Black History Month, we've also seen World Mental Health Day come up during this month and um, so many things going on, so many things um, plaguing and affecting not just black people but people around the world. So, um, you know, I want to chime in quickly with this because I wanted to speak about just the false it is that we see in life today. Now, some gonna say, oh, Fonzie, you, you're going too deep or Fonzie being too um, negative and stuff. Um, you know why you always got to focus on, on that? Well, you know, um, not to get too scripturally, but we're told in the scripture that in the last times, you know, people will be lovers of themselves, you know, um, more than they love the most high. People going to be, you know, really just arrogant and, and ignorant and stuff. And um, we see a lot of that, you know, the reason I mention this is because, you know, a friend of mine, God bless the dead, um, he you know, what's the best way to probably put it, he, he had his, his battles with mental health, he had his battles with depression and stuff, and it got the best of him, and, you know, he took himself out of the game, and, um, 31-year-old kid from, uh, not a kid as such, you know, but 31-year-old, um, young person from Birmingham, um, talented, he, he was a professional wrestler, he spearheaded, a lot of independent movements within the wrestling scene with a lot of his friends and stuff um super potential you know really could have took things to a different level and you know had faced his problems with lack of support had faced his problems with um being ostracized from the wrestling business from others due to you know not delivering you know, I've always said, even in the music business and the promotional business, like, you know, you have a success and it's everybody's success, you know. You do something that's grand or that's great and everybody wants to come around and um, embark up in the success and, hey, you know, we was a part of it too and, and this, that and the third. But, you know, when something doesn't go too right and it's a, I don't want to say failure, but, you know, it doesn't go to the plan of how people may anticipate or expect it we after then can see how rapidly things can change so um yeah you know he was ostracized for i think a couple of shows or a show that didn't go too well and you know people took their thoughts and their opinions and, hey you know this guy don't deserve this or this guy deserve that and no uh, it's really such a shame because for for somebody in the height of their career to feel as though not only that they they in a position where they gotta take their own life but to feel that nobody really cares especially now we've seen you know since his passing GoFundMe pages go up a lot of people saying the RIP and stuff um, 
money be given in, but it was like, where was all that love when the brother was here, you know, because ain't nobody perfect, you know, people have their attitudes and their ways, but at the same time, it's like he was surrounded by so much people that claimed they loved that man, and especially in the scene where, you know, it's supposed to be a family, but people are so egocentric and caught up in their own selves and their own images that, you know, somebody could be pushed to a position like that where they really feel that no, they ain't got that support, they got nobody around and stuff, or they got to do something, you know, that extreme, so, um, I just want to say we got to do better even, you know, as individuals and, and as a wider community to really support people, you know, everybody put stuff up and say, you know, if anybody needs a chat, give me a talk or give me a call, and I think a lot of the times we like to pride ourselves on thinking that we're there to support others and all this stuff, but when it really comes down to it, it's a struggle for a lot of people, maybe because, you know, they got their own stuff going through at the same time. It's a sort of mix between that and just, um, I think sometimes people not knowing how to respond or how to, you know, how to approach somebody. So I think, you know, it's a shame. I just want to say, um, you know, anybody out there struggling and going through it, you know, as hard as it is, you know, stay up. You know, there's some of us out here, we're going through it too, but we really do our best to stay up because... You know, that can ultimately give somebody else a bit of motivation to push forward. You know, it's, um, we know it ain't easy. Even to remain focused, there's so much, um, obstacles. You know, there's so much of these devils being sent to kill, you know, seek and destroy and, and, and take away the goodness from out of your life while they can have it all for themselves. And, you know, it's a shame, man. I think, you know, um, we gotta do better as a people and gotta do better as individuals and definitely better as a community, so as a wider community. So with that being said, I just wanna say, you know, rest in peace, Ryan, smile, man, and um, you know, y'all go out there, support the family in where they need, whether that be go from me and stuff, you know. But not just that, support other people as well who need that support, you know. Let's not just um, support people when they gone, let's start looking at support while they're here. Uh, it's like, what do you do to stand out a little bit? And like, a lot of people say, oh, like what you guys did when it comes to the marketing was amazing. It was, we didn't do anything that no one else could do. You just have to be, market yourself and, and, and really go for it. Like, I one grind on social is, media I think one yeah. of the things is, obviously, that stands so out hard. is when you're passionate about what people it is that you that. do and you're mm. actually... But like you, like you said, like, like, like when you come and look at our shows, you can tell that we actually put some effort in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, not just a ring in the middle of a venue with a curtain. We actually spend money. Yeah, it's value. It's, it's thousands value. And thousands on production. Yeah, yeah. And what the fact is, is although although the fans aren't going aren't gonna to bless you for it, they sit there and they know... You know what I mean? They walk in and they go, this guy spent some money and I appreciate it. It's the actual trick of the day and the day, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the stories and you need the, the, you need the versus. Immer, immersion. Comedy, you need the emotion, you need like, And that's what wrestling's always been about. Like, everybody thinks it's been anything different, it's wrong. Nah, totally. I said that. Work for the WWE, work for the WWF, work for WCW, TNA, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's